going on guys Captain Keaton Anderson here in the fitted to fish YouTube channel today we're gonna to be talking about casting in the wind um, it scares a lot of people um, casting a fly rod into the wind I almost prefer it um, it it allows us to get closer to the fish so we don't have to make as long of casts. it covers our tracks it covers our noises um, but some some people get a little uh, scared about casting into the wind and they, they might bring a, a spinning rod or a crutch as we call it. Um, so some techniques that, that you can take onto a flat or into onto the water with casting in the wind is, is um, keeping in mind smoothing your, your whole cast out. So when we're out here and we've, we've got a pretty heavy wind, um, Keeping your, your casting stroke as smooth as possible. You hear this, this oh, you have to punch it into the wind. Oh, you have to, you have to really hit it. And it's, it's not necessarily you have to hit it harder. It's, it's getting all of your mechanics sound and smooth and, and getting your timing right. There's no extra added punch at the end, at least for me. Um, but if I keep it smooth and I keep it right and tight, I'm, I'm gonna get it to my intended target. It might take a couple tries, but it, it's gonna get there. And there, that's where the wind can cover our tracks because we can get multiple shots on fish. Another thing to keep in mind is we all see these pelicans flying real low to the water, right? It's because they're getting closer to the water to get less friction so they can fly a little more smoothly. Same thing with fly line. If we can bring it down and, and get it closer to the water, one, it keeps it off of, uh, off of the fish's radar if it's if it's higher and they can see it they might spook but if we keep it low we can get that more less friction closer to the water and, and shoot it a little easier um, when there's a, a heavier wind um, some other things to kind of keep in mind is sometimes we're not always going to have a forward cast and, and the back cast can do you well so it's it's key to practice both your forward and your back cast and be proficient at both so these are some uh, simple tricks and techniques that I, I take on me on the water to help me cast in the wind. Uh, it, it's it's part of the game. It's it's a natural thing, and it I mean the winter time and fall it's it's something that occurs on a daily basis. So we need to be as proficient as we can as out here on the water. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next one.